our installation has completed so we're going for the next step which is here we copy this and publish and um, paste hit enter so this will probably take a few um, moments but generally what it's going to do is going to go to your complete your config directory and create a file called paste type.php so if we go to our config config directory so we're expecting a new file here called paste type.php once it creates it then uh, we have to um, go specify this uh, these keys now to get this case for instance we need to get a public key a secret key a payment url merchant email to do that we have to visit page stack itself so like i told you page stack is just like paypal it's just that um it works in nigeria too so page stack.com it opens and like i said you could just follow this video and implement page stack once you're uh, it works you can then go ahead and implement whatever payment uh, processor that works with your country all right so um, now that now that is coming up we we have um, pay stack so I'm gonna click on sign up if you're if you've not signed up before but I've signed up before so I'm just gonna go straight ahead and log in so um, I log in okay so once you log into pay stack um, First thing you realize is that your account is in test mode. All right. So um, um, for you to that means in every transaction you're doing under test mode are not real transactions. They're just for testing on your platform or your website or your app. But then finally, when you need it to be real transactions to start deducting real money, you'd have to submit your business registration uh, documents scanned copy of it to them uh, so that you can start um, making real money from your pay stack so now what we're going to look at is uh, you click on the profile go to settings so this is what we're looking for so here is where you specify the url of the platform the callback url the callback url is basically what site after somebody has made a payment what site should they be uh, what url should they be redirected to you understand that's the callback url then the webhook url is like um, which url is supposed to uh is is the url where the user will click the make initiate the payment so sort of user starts making payment from here after payment has been processed by paystack user is brought back to this url so those are the two urls then these are test secret key and test public key uh, we need to copy it but uh, before we do anything we need to make sure that this has completed okay it's completed so if we now if we now go to config folder we look for paste stack i have to click here to refresh uh, it has refreshed so we we'll now go to um config looking for paste so in our case for some reason um, that file wasn't created maybe um, because that package was built for Laravel 5.5 it's not exactly working perfectly for Laravel 5.6 so we're gonna manually create it and um, like I said we're able to create it because we were told here what the command is supposed to do that if we run this command uh, it will create this file inside this config directory so we've got, we have to create this file directly uh, manually so I'll click here new file call it pastetag.php enter so now we have a pastetag.php file is empty we'll copy what is here this is what's supposed to be inside we'll copy it copy paste save so if you look at these things, these are just settings, um, variable settings. But the issue is that they are pointing to your end file, see, your env file. So we have to get to our env file in Laravel and then add some defaults. So let's go and get the defaults. If we come here, 
is you open your .env file and add your public key, secret key, merchant email, and payment URL like this. So I'm going to copy this, paste at the bottom here. Now, um, this is supposed to be the email you used to sign up to Paystack. Um, you can leave this URL. Then we have to work with this tool, which is um, as described here. Um, if we go to Paystack, remember, we clicked here. Then we have to copy the secret key, test secret key. Um, secret key. Now, when your account uh, becomes um, validated, approved by Paystack, you can have access to live. So if you click on live, you'll see live secret key. So I'm going to copy test public key. And uh, there we go. And we're good. Like this, we're connected to Paystack and we can start working uh, straight up with Paystack. Now let us see if there is any other thing uh, that we can do. Uh, so, um, we're going to have to work with uh, the controllers, alright? So, um, I think in the next video, we'll add these controllers, alright? So, we'll add controller URLs so that um, when uh, we'll have a page where people can make payments and the page where people can land after making payments. All right then, see you.